Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this video, we're going to do a little update on the F-16C Viper. Now, we've been spending a lot of our time on the, uh, the Hornet, as you've probably gathered, but by no means does it mean that we're ignoring the Viper. Uh, in fact, we hired a brand new developer just to work on the Viper, and we already have an existing developer also solely dedicated to the Viper. On top of that, we have another developer working half-time on the Viper. So again, by no means is it being pushed to the wayside. Now, we'd hoped to have the uh, Maverick air-to-ground missile ready for this week, but it's taking just a little bit longer than we expected. But in the meantime, we're going to have the ability to create steer points. Now, right now we have the ability to modify an existing steer point, but not create a new one. And this is uh, uh, sorely needed. And there's two, way we, two ways we can do this. Uh, first, we can go to the list, go to number six for INS, and we can create steer points here. And as each one is created, it will not automatically select it. And this is a really handy way to create, say, a flight plan. Uh, coming back out to the CNI, we can go to push button four, steer point. And in this mode, we can create a steer point, and as it's created, is also automatically selected. And this is a really handy way, say, to put together a target point based on a JTAC. And let's look at it that way. So right now we see we have steer point one selected. We have no steer points on the HSI. We'll dobber down to the latitude, and let's input it. So we'll go north at 51, 20, 5 to 9, enter. Dobber down to longitude, east, full let, uh, longitude, 001, 20, 8, 1, 9, enter. And then finally the elevation, which in this case is 161 feet. And we do that. Now we see on the HSI, we have a steer point dot at about our seven o'clock, which is Manston Airfield. And that's going to be our steer point location. So let's go ahead and go to air to ground mode and we'll go to CCRP. And as we're turning around, you're probably wondering, well, Wags, how do you find your coordinates to enter? So you can do this either through the mission editor or in the F10 map. And to do that, we'll go to say F10 put our cursor over Manston, and we see our coordinates up here at the uh, top. And you can cycle through the coordinate type by pressing left, alt, and Y. And what we're looking for is this. So degree, uh, degrees, minutes, and then decimals to three places. And that's our coordinate system that we're gonna be using here in the Viper. Coming back out. Let's turn back around. And also, we're um, in the uh, second stage of cleaning up the targeting pod for the Hornet. And what the uh, second phase is done, they're going to go ahead and revisit the S16 uh, targeting pod and add some uh, really cool features, like um, uh, Cursor Zero is a very important one that we recognize needs to be added sooner rather than later. Okay, so now we have uh, CCRP steering on the steer point that we have created, which should be in the center of Manston runway. And naturally, if I were to activate the targeting pod, the targeting pod in CCRP would automatically slave to that steer point. So 5.6 miles from steer point. And there we are. So we hope this is going to be a very welcome addition for virtual pilots out there to create your own steer points and the Viper. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.